The picture that science presents to us is, is in some sense, uh, uncomfortable. Because what we've learned is that we are more insignificant than we ever could have imagined. You could get rid of us and all the galaxies and everything we see in the universe, and it'll be largely the same. So we're insignificant on a scale that Copernicus never would have imagined. And in addition, it turns out the future is miserable. So the two lessons that I like to say I like to give is first, we're insignificant, and second, the future is miserable. Now, that sh you might think that should depress you, but I would argue that, in fact, it should embolden you and, and provide you a, a different kind of consolation. Because if the universe doesn't care about us, and if we're an accident in a remote corner of the universe, in some sense it makes us more precious. The meaning in our lives is, is provided by us. We provide our own meaning. And we are here by, by accidents of evolution and, and the formation of planets, and we should enjoy our brief moment in the sun. We should make the most of our brief moment in the sun because this is all we have. And even if we're so rare that we're the only life forms in the universe, which I doubt, that makes us in some sense, while we're more insignificant, we're more special. We are endowed with a consciousness that can ask questions about the beginning of the universe and learn about the universe on its largest scales and experience everything that it means to be human, music, art, literature, and science. So for me, it should be spiritually uplifting that we're not uh, uh, created with a purpose by someone who, 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 who takes care of us like a, like a mannequin or, or, or uh, uh, with strings determining everything. We determine our future, and that makes our future more precious.